Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use FME to fix um, improperly encoded XML files. This is a problem that a uh, number of users have sent me files saying they can't, FME can't read the XML and when I dig into it and use other XML tools, in fact it is not a valid XML because it has invalid encoding. So here's an example file and this is what you're going to see. Um, one easy way to check it is just with IE but Xerxes and anything's going to give you a similar thing. You know you open it in IE in this case and you scroll down and you see at the bottom here it says invalid character is found in text content and um, that's something that um, I, as I said I've seen I've seen several times so how, how do we fix that well there's a very simple workspace I've put together that enables this to be fixed very easily all it does is it just simply reads the file using the text line file reader um, and I set this the um, in my case in, in in all cases so far files I've seen, I've specified the input encoding to be um, ISO 8859-1, which is Latin one, and I specify the output encoding to simply be UTF-8. And then I say write the UTF-8 byte order mark, and that's it. So I've set this one up to read that file, and it's going to write a fixed file. And uh, so it's a very simple one, just reads the whole file at once, takes almost no time. And now if I look at it again, what's happening is you'll see the file is in fact fixed. Just like that. Okay, you can see that's where all those characters were. And you can see that now that file has been fixed. It's valid XML. So now you can use FME or any other tool to work with it. And that is as simple as it is. So if you want this workspace, where can you find it? I've created a nice URL for you and you can download it. And there it is. HTTP colon slash slash FME dot LY slash fix bad XML. Thank you very much.